Hey everyone, it's Shannon and I have somebody special here with me today. It's Paul. <laughs> That's right. Normally I have just been doing the American Girl videos, but today Paul is with us for the American Girls. That's right. And do you want to know why Paul's with us? Why? Because he loves American Girl dolls too. I do. I do. I like, I, I like the fashions. Yeah. So today we have Julie right here on the left and she is wearing the mod monster costume that um, that was featured in another video. So if you want to see that, go ahead and go check back for more American Girl videos on this channel. But today we're going to dress Mary Ellen in a costume. Nice. And do you know what costume it might be? Well, I do. <laughs> it's the Be Myself outfit. I don't know if you can see that. Be Myself outfit. And do you see this box? It's smashed. And it did not come this way from American Girl. It came very beautiful from American Girl. <laughs> but Simon decided that this was a good box to sleep on, and he smashed it. Yep. So for those of you that love Simon, there you go. There you go. Simon the Smasher. Yeah. <laughs> so let's open this up. I'm going to turn you guys down a little bit here. Let's see what we get. Ooh, let's see. I love the way they package the stuff. I've never seen one of these open. So yeah, they do package them nice. So we get one outfit plus one charm. Add it to your doll's charm keeper necklace. I have not had anything with a... Do you have a charm keeper necklace? I don't. How are you supposed to open this without ripping it? I don't, hand it to me, I'll cut it. Okay. So here is the Be Myself outfit. This is so cute. So this is a little t-shirt or shirt and it has black and yellow tulle around the bottom and it's a yellow shirt it has the American Girl logo right there on the sleeve and then I love these black ribbons with the black sequins making the stripes so it's a little bit glittery. That's really pretty. Really cute and then you get these adorable little yellow and black striped ah. leggings or capris really cute and here are the wings they have little straps to put around your doll's arms so I love those of course the important headband piece right, the antennas. yes you have to have antennas and they have little silver sparklies I love it that seems a little small for her head but I guess it works we'll find out Mary Ellen she's saying you got a big head <laughs> And then we get the shoes. And, oh, sorry guys, I hit the camera again. These shoes are cute. Um, they look like Crocs. They with... do. They kind of feel like Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> These are black with the little holes right here, which makes them look like Crocs. And then it has little yellow pattern or print on the front. And these are like soft and smushy. You can kind of see, you can bend them. Just like Crocs. Um, so the other, like the shoes Mary Ellen comes with are hard plastic. These are very smushy. Huh. So that's different. That's the first time I've seen American Girl shoes like that. Okay, and Paul opened this up for us. Is she brave? Is she smart? Is she kind? We don't know. She's fair. The fair round charm. A fair girl treats everyone the same and tries to see both sides of the story. So I'm going to have to look into this a little more. I'm not sure... Like I said, this is the first outfit I've opened that had a charm in it. So I'm going to see what that's all about. But right now, why don't we go ahead and get Mary Ellen dressed in her new outfit. Sounds good.
Okay, Mary Ellen is all dressed in her brand new Be Myself outfit. She looks amazing. So let's just take a quick overview of her, top to bottom. I love this outfit. I love this one more than the monster one, I think. Yeah, I definitely do. I like the little boots on the monster outfit. I used to have an outfit that was similar to this. <laughs> Kind of. <laughs> All right, so let's look at a little more detail. She is wearing her cute little headband with her little silver sparkly antenna, and I chose to put it on over her hair like this, but you can put it on and um, put it underneath their hair to kind of hide the headband a little more, but I found it fit best that way. And then her little shirt is so adorable. I love the little tulle tutu looking mm -hmm. bottom of it. And I really like on this, instead of using just like glitter or something that wouldn't last, they actually have these sequins strung on here. So those will last a lot longer. And I just think it makes it look nicer. Yeah. And then look at her little wings. So if I don't knock her into the camera, we'll lift up her ponytail and you can see how awesome they are. They fit her perfectly, and the wings have little glitter sparkles in them. And you can put the wings on or off, just whatever you like. You know, she could wear this outfit without the wings and antenna, and it would still be a cute outfit. It wouldn't necessarily be a costume. What do you think, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, she would still look like a bee in the outfit. <laughs> kind the, of, but, she, wings but it wouldn't be a costume. It wouldn't be a costume, no. Now the wings went on super simple. They have these little yellow straps that blend really well with the outfit. In person, the color matches really well. And they were simple to get on and they fit her nice. They're not like falling off her shoulders or anything, which That's what is nice. Me. Yeah. And then you have her little like capri length or little, um, yeah, I guess kind of capri length leggings. And they fit her perfectly. What, what I'm really impressed with about the American Girl clothing is how well the things fit. The knees aren't saggy. The backs of the legs aren't saggy. Let me show you. Like just everywhere, it fits the doll well. Which, you know, just goes to show American Girl is a quality made item. And you can see that in the construction of the outfits. And then her little shoes, which... Again, those went on super, super well. They just like popped right on her feet, which was awesome. So overall, yet once again, I'm impressed with the American Girl outfit. So let's move her to the side a little bit. And we have Julie back there still. I still love the Mod Monster outfit, but the B one, in my opinion, like totally steals the show. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it... The, the B one to me, it, it's bright, it's detailed. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on in that, in that outfit. The Mod Monster outfit is cute, but the, the Be Myself outfit just looks so much better. Yeah. I think. I think so too. What about you guys? What do you think of the Be Myself costume? Leave me a comment down below or leave us a comment since Paul's here with me today. That's right, leave me a comment. <laughs> <laughs> let us know what you think of American Girl and let us know if Paul should be in more of the American Girl videos. So far this is the first one, but let us know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to PS Toy Reviews for more American Girl in Our Generation videos. They will be coming up soon. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. See you later. Simon. And Simon with Hattie Hat on his head. <laughs> Simon, look over here. Simon. Shannon put Hattie hat on Simon. Look over here. Look. He's say, like, oh. Nope. He's like, quit messing with me. Say hi to everybody, Sleepy. <laughs> like, hey, everybody. See my big uh, blue eye ball? <laughs> All right. So. Okay. Today, I'll take the hat off. Today we have an awesome.